way on the other competitors they have three axle can be four wheel drive or six wheel drive the four wheel drive uh, as one wheel one front wheel without traction and the weight of the upper that goes on this wheel is totally unaffected so we can use only 50 percent of this power of this uh, traction tra driven wheel and then this is completely useless this wheel this uh, this system still come back on the same power let's say or the same effective uh, effective uh, drive like our system but when we are in this situation and you know you are working every day with paper it happens that we are in this situation when one front wheel is not getting in touch anymore with the ground then this wheel starting sliding flipping and this wheel is not effective anymore then you are back in the same situation like the two the four axle and yeah, three axle four wheel drive so this wheel is unaffected uh, and this is less working less power less torque that you can use furthermore because of the front axle rear front axle with the balance in the middle uh, we have every time the center of gravity exactly in the center of the machine and the weight of the screen is divided in left and right of the front axle 50 percent 50 percent so we can every time use the, the best power in the left and the, in the right front wheel on the other hand this is the standard system the conventional system the, the rigid machine gives the weight heavier weight in the machine that is Little bit lower so when the machine is working a little bit bended then this wheel will be will be more heavy and more effective but this one will be much less heavy and much less or totally or not totally but close to totally unaffected and by having this system we have longer wheelbase we have longer arm and these two features give absolutely much more stability and flatness during paving. Our paver is also equipped standard with brake steering system. So when we need to steer in a short, short area, small area, then we block, we break the inner wheel and we can reduce the, the steering, steering wheels uh, the, the steering radius from seven meter up to three and a half meter so it turns really in a small radius or for crawling paper we also have a unique system that is the boogie is the equalized uh, boogie system and i think i will show the video that is absolutely very easy to understand this is our machine going over the obstacle. This is a competitor machine going over the obstacle. So you see, table going up and down. And this affects the, the paving surface. And the reason is because we have this boogie, this oscillating boogie that, that let the machine going over the obstacle without any, any, uh, problem on the paving surface all our pavers are also equipped with uh, many emergency system on board one and the most important is by the three controller that are all the same interchangeable only working with two controller we can still operate almost all functions of the machine so in case uh, one controller is broken by working with a and b we can avoid we can bypass the heating sensor and the material flow sensor the yogurt flow sensor but we can still operate all functions of the machine that means we are not stuck in a trouble we are not stuck in in the job set that the machine is not working we can still operate the machine in case two controller are broken we can still travel with the machine and all the all the valves are equipped with manual control so that we can get empty the machine 
in case the canvas line or the tree controller or anything uh, big happen on the on the electronic system we can by the ambulance switch we can bypass completely the electronic and with this potentiometer and switches we control directly the pumps the hydraulic pumps so in any case we can move away the machine from the job site additionally in case any switch on the main control panel or on the screen control panel is not working then we can still operate by the by the monitor all the functions of the machine from the screen function and the machine function the driver anything operated from the two dis three displays on the machine and that's the really the worst case the engine is not is not running you 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 are out of fuel then we have an emergency hand pump we can we can close the screen lift up the screen close the hopper release the brakes and we can power the machine away so in any case we have everything on board on the machine that can help us to solve the situation just finished the few points and i think i think these are really interesting points and now there will be my brother alberto and ricardo on the machine if you want to spend some time around the machine they will switch on the machine and uh, show you some function maybe you can also touch and not pay but <laughs> but at least uh, move some uh, some function of the machine yeah. Do you mean? Do you mean? Yeah. Do you mean the? This is the, the paving direction. Do you mean in in this way? This direction ways no, no, no. on in this one. Yeah. So in, in the direction of paving, yeah. in this direction. You are paving this direction. Ah, okay. Yeah. And you are Okay. Yeah. Now is the screen handling the board on the top. This and our shoulder is material here. And a long board is material here. Yeah. Since it's so long, do it handle the it is, it is. And and okay, let me say the screen is floating above the, the material. So it's just floating above the material. And it doesn't co it depends how long are these waves. It depends how long are these waves. The machine correct these waves, not one hundred percent if they are too deep or too short or too long, sorry. Uh, but it corrects these waves automatically, but that's all pavers but because of our paper have longer arm and longer distance between the two axles then the machine will the the, the two axles the wheel and i'm talking about the wheel now i think you are going to use the wheel right a crawl okay okay so the track will will pass over this over here and maybe we'll move a little bit above above here but the screen will will try to stay on the same position of course if the tau if the tau point of okay if it is yeah okay so this distance two meter okay the, the, the truck will pass over this. Of course, the tau point that is in the middle of the truck will uh, will be will go a little bit lower, but not too much because the truck is long. And this small gap, this small distance, will be correct by the by the speed because the speed takes uh, at least uh, one and a half one yeah one point seven meter to react. So when you move the cylinder, the leveling cylinder. The speed doesn't react immediately. It takes how long? 1.7? 1.7 meters. 
Exactly, exactly. So when you go over there, the truck start to go down and it is one meter, but the speed is still here. So the truck start to go a little bit, truck, not the truck, the tau point. The tau point is the point where the uh, hydraulic cylinder is working to lift up and down the leveling arm. So this tau point is starting to start to go down a little bit, but the squid doesn't react immediately. It, it reacts when it goes one and a half meter ahead. Then you will have a little bit, a little bit uh, tolerance, but not too much. And I, you want to follow yeah, this? Yes. No, then, then. Then, then you have, yeah. Then you have to adjust the the leveling yeah. bottom, the okay. leveling okay. cylinders, and and uh, reduce the speed. And the reaction is it depends from the speed, from several variable, but between 1.5 and 1.7 meter length. Hmm? So if you move the cylinder after 1.7 meter, you are on the setting measure. If if it's so long, if, can, if, manage, but manually, by by the by the switch, but manually, so, so not the, automatically. The, uh, automatically, if you uh, use the level uh, system. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Yes. You, but you mean long? You mean longer in this? Yes. yes. It's not longer. You mean the street there? Yeah. This is our land. Pergole. Volvo. I didn't take the, the measurement of Dinapak and Bomag and Caterpillar yet. <laughs> Uh, no, I think I think it will be not not too short. I think it will be maybe twenty centimeters shorter, maybe less, maybe less, and then not a big gap. You see? Yeah. But why? Because the the street plate is a little bit shorter. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. I think this is the explanation. Good. I think we finished. We are here around. My brothers are also on the machine. For any question, any doubt, please ask, and we will not answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for for uh, for the timing.